This is my house decorated for Christmas. And this is my house projection mapped for Christmas. Now, projection mapping is not new. It's been around for a while, and if you've been to Walt Disney World or Universal Studios, you've probably actually seen it. In fact, what inspired me to do this is that there's a show in Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom called Happily Ever After, where they use projection mapping on the castle, and it's just absolutely incredible, and that's why I attempted to do something like this. Now in this video, I'm going to show you an overview of what I did in order to accomplish this on my house. The first step in this process for me was finding the right projector. I was looking for short throw and then I wanted a decent resolution, so I went with 1080p resolution. Once I picked the projector, then I had to mount it in such a way that if I were going to remove it and put it back, it needed to be in the exact same position and it needs to be mounted before you do the mapping because once you map it, you can't change that projector because it's gonna throw your whole image off. So I picked my projector, got my mount. They sell mounts online. They're very expensive, so I decided to make my own. It's not the prettiest mount in the world, but it gets the job done. It's waterproof, so I've tested, and the projector sits in such a way that I can remove it and put it back in and it goes in the same way. I also have fans underneath for cooling, as you can see here. After I picked my projector, it was time to mount that projector. I just got a four x four, made a hole in the ground, got a vinyl four x four for a vinyl fence from your big box store, it was very inexpensive, like 10 bucks or so. Cut about two and a half feet of that, put that in the ground, cemented it in. Also put an eye in the ground so that I could attach some wire rope to that to lock the projector to. Then I got a standard four x four. It was pressure treated, spray painted it black, made my mount up top, used caulk as much as possible so that when it rains, it won't get any moisture inside. And then I painted everything black as much as I could, used a piece of plexiglass over the projector to keep that weather out, but still let the projector shine through. And then once everything was set up like that, I then connected to my computer and then used After Effects to start masking out my house. I'll put a link to the video that I followed down below. It's an incredible guide and in how to do this. I will not be able to do that video justice, so just go check that out. Once I had everything set up in After Effects, I then spent a few hours just trying to animate the different masks and make it look more Christmassy. And then I used Adobe character animator to actually do the characters and then my wife and I narrated it. We Welcome put it all together um, into one video file and then scouring the internet I found that there's this whole group of people that do this for Christmas. So this RS-232 comes off the Raspberry Pi. I'm using Falcon Pi Player. The guys that put that together are absolutely incredible. Of course I'll link that below. That's what I loaded on the Raspberry Pi. It has projector control built in, which is amazing and very easy to use. Got the Raspberry Pi all set up, put it inside the box with the projector, and it runs absolutely flawlessly. So I'll provide links below to all the resources that I used in order to pull it off. I'm also gonna put the entire show at the end of this video, so if you wanna stick around and see that, I got music from Epidemic Sound. I used my wife and I's voice for narration, made all the animations myself, and it came together in what I think is a really great Christmas show. So we play it at the top of every hour, and then for one full hour from 7 to 8 p.m., we've got the FM transmitter, so if you're driving by, you can tune in. We've also got a speaker mounted on the box as well, very low, so that if you're walking by, you can also hear it if you wanna enjoy it that way. Now, some of the regrets. I do think having a short throw projector that far away Obviously, the picture quality is not going to be that great. Now, it's great from the street, but I'm more so getting in like the colors. They kind of get washed out a little bit. I got the brightest and highest resolution that I could afford. So it's not that great, but it's still pretty good. I think in the future, I would love to expand maybe to multiple projectors so I can get a really clear, crisp image um, on different parts of the house. So Optima or ViewSonic or anybody, if you're watching this, I will happily 
accept a sponsored video for next Christmas. And I also think just more experience with the character animator and also in After Effects. I was starting from scratch, so things were taking me a really long time. I was having to just Google kind of how to do everything. Now I did get it done and I do like it, but I will definitely try to do different iterations of the show. So next Christmas, I might tweak a, a few things here and there, try to improve some of the scenes that don't have much going on. My favorite scene, which we'll see, is actually the shepherds that are out. That I, um, I spent a good bit of time on that and I think it came out really great. I hope you enjoy this projection map show of our home. Thanks for watching Break It Yourself and Merry Christmas. We hope you've had a wonderful evening riding around and looking at lights. While we too love Christmas traditions, we'd like to share our favorite part of the season. Which all began 2,000 years ago. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. And Mary said to the angel, how will this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. For nothing will be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior and his mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered, and all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. And he called his name Jesus. And in the same region, there were shepherds out in the field keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? 
For we saw his star when it rose, and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And assembling all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it is written by the prophet, And you, O Bethlehem, and the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. And from you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod summoned the wise men secretly and ascertained from them what time the star had appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word that I may too come and worship him. After listening to the king, they went on their way. And behold, the star that they had seen when it rose went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. Then, opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed to their own country by another way. We hope you've enjoyed our retelling of Christ's birth. It's the coming of Christ that fills our hearts with joy during the Christmas season. Thanks so much for taking the time to stop by and have a very Merry Christmas. If you're interested in how we made this show, visit breakityourself.com. <laughs>